Alright everyone, welcome back. Uh, as you saw by the intro, I got a lot, a lot of power here. Bauer, the Bauer 20 volt lithium hypermax here. So what I'm going to do is going to unbox the uh, cordless pull saw. So uh, let's get to uh, doing that and then I'll do a little demo on it. Um, and I do plan on eventually using it because I got to prune the uh, my trees here anyways all right so let's get to it all right so uh, here's okay so here's the here's the box it's a very small very small box so here's the, the box very small box uh, let's let's get into it here uh, it's Taped. Nope, it's right here. Okay, so it's uh, taped right here, and I got this on a on a sp special uh, twenty dollars off if you buy battery or um, battery and charger. Uh, what I did was I just eventually returned the battery and charger, and still got the twenty dollar off because I have a lot of batteries and chargers, but I did want the twenty dollars off, so. It, cut down the price on this tremendously okay let's go ahead and uh, I'm just unboxing it you can kind of see the little labels here uh, up to seven what is it seven seven foot three inches to nine foot three inches now as far as the tool itself it's probably not a good uh, pull uh, chainsaw the corded one would be a lot better the one that that Portland one that they have but um, it's a compromise uh, I'm not gonna be doing this all day I'm just need to cut a couple uh, branches off and just prune my yard so let's uh let's get this open let's open this up I'm trying to figure out how to open this thing now <laughs> oh there you go all right now maybe I can open it up <laughs> Oh, one more. One more right here. All right. All right. Ooh. Okay, we can finally open this thing up. Jeez. I was wondering if we were going to... Oh, sorry. One more. One more. One more. All right. Now we can open up. So let's see what's in this thing. Uh, okay. Uh, the instructions manual. Okay. Uh, let's see what else you get in here. Okay. Looks like you have to move this. Uh, here's the chainsaw oil. You're going to need that. It's probably a warning sign telling you not to use it without chainsaw oil. And, uh, there's the rest of it right there. So you kind of see. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, this whole thing comes out. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so this thing is attached together on it. That was a, a bear to, to deal with. Uh, let's see here. All right, finally get to open this thing. All right. Okay. Uh, there, is there more? Is there more in here? This might be the chainsaw. Okay. So there's the chainsaw, everybody. You got your cover. Uh, this must be the actual motor and where you put the uh, put the oil. Okay. And strap. All right. Here's the actual chain directions here, and a little little key as well. Okay. What is this thing? It's just a round cardboard. And I need the actual blade. Okay. So here's the actual blade. Let's confirm that the blade is in here. Okay, yeah, 
Blade, Oregon, Double Guard. Okay. Low Kickback, if you want to know. So we got this from Oregon. I guess that's the company name. There we go. That's all that's in there. Let me check here real quick. Nothing, yeah, nothing in the box. I'm definitely going to need this. So, All right, so that's pretty much everything that you get out of the box. So let's try to put it together. I'll look at their user manual. We'll try to figure it out. Okay, looks like there's some grooves right here. And uh, a little piece that sticks out. I guess you got to sl slide it in there and it'll, it'll go in. I haven't read the instructions. I'm just kind of intuitively putting this together. Okay, that's one. So I'm putting the pole together. Okay, it looks like this doesn't do anything but go up and down this slot, I'm assuming. Which is kind of a little bit off here. There, like that. Okay. Okay, that's how it works. Okay, and this must connect to the... Okay, that makes a lot of sense. All right. All right, so this must connect to the actual saw. So I guess I got that all figured out. Thank God. Okay, got that figured out. Uh, this is the saw. I'm assuming... This piece will go on to the end of this piece here. Uh, okay. So you got these two things here that go in. You see that? They go in. And I guess they slide on these right here. So let's give that a shot. And this, this thing here is octagon shape. And you'll notice that this is also octagon shape. Okay, there you go, just like that. And then I guess we take this. Okay, take this. There you go. Uh, the pole has been attached to the to the saw now. Let's see if I can make this any smaller. No, nope, that's that's it. So okay, just give you a reference of size. There you go. Okay, the chain is here, the blade is here. Um, there it is. I'm going to do it kind of upside down. And let me put the uh, let me put the blade on first, and then uh, I'm going to uh, oil up the chain, put some oil on it, put the chain oil in here. I'm going to save this. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the chain oil out again. Uh, I'm not planning on any cutting. I'm just doing an unboxing and a quick, very quick demo. That's what that looks like. Sorry, I'm doing it upside down. Let me, uh, I could do it. Let me turn it around then. Okay, there you go. Now it's right side up, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's right side up now. Right side up. Let's see. Let's remove this. Okay. And now I'm gonna take a quick look at the just take a quick look at the directions, see what it says about it. Alright, so this right here looks like the tension screw. So this tool here, this tool here is what you need to adjust the tension screw right here screws oh, that screw right there that's a tension screw okay good to know all right and then that's the pin so this piece right here 
that you're seeing right there, that pin sticking out, that goes up and down and that puts the tension onto the onto the bar. Uh, where is the bar? Uh, right here. All right. Anything else I need to know? I think that's it. So let's uh, let's go put on the bar. So the, okay, my assumption is it's because the writing's on this side, it's going to go on this side here. So just need to line it up. There we go. There. So make sure that tension pin is in that hole. Okay, that was easy enough. And I guess when, uh, I, I, okay, so uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and oil the chain. And after that, we'll get ready. All right, I'm back. I did uh, lubricate or soak the chain in oil. Uh, I just uh, cut a small slit and just put oil in here. Uh, I figured that's probably the easiest way to, to do it. You gotta be careful. There's <laughs> a little punctures, there's some small punctures in the uh, in the bag. So, uh, but that's the quickest way I could figure out how to do that. So. We got that done, um, and let's go ahead and lubricate the uh, the blade as well. Okay, so it's gonna get a little oily, so you probably want to be outside when you do this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and let's take this tool off. I'm probably gonna need the tool, so let's just open this up. It's all oily in there. And uh, whatever oil residue uh, I want to put on, let's see, just put it on, just drip it on. I guess it wouldn't hurt to oil up the, uh, the uh, actual uh, blade itself. Just give it a good coating, I guess. Just oil up those areas. Like where this spins, put a little dab of oil, spin this around. You're going to get a lot of friction in here. You can kind of see it's getting oily right there. So with my hands, I'm just going to oil. It's probably going to get dirty, but at least it's coated with some oil. I'm not worried about the, uh, the bar, the channel right there, because the chain's going to oil all that up. Uh, okay. So it's going to get a little messy. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so here's the chain. Ugh, it's a mess. Okay, let's try to figure this out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so to figure out how the chain is put together, uh, look at the picture. There we go. Okay, so if you look at that picture, look at the chain, Make sure that it has the same shape to it. That's the way the, the chain goes onto the chain bar. All right, see that? See the picture and see the chain link? This right here, make sure it goes on the same way. That's the right way to do it. So go ahead and put that on right there. Oh, it's oily. Moment of truth. Okay, it needs to, I need that tool because it's, it needs to be tensioned out. It's kind of loose, you can see where it's, where it's uh, not in here. So that tool is right here. All right, so this is where this tool is going to come in handy. Okay. All right, so it has a uh, flathead on both sides. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. It's not a very convenient place to put it, I'll tell you that much. So you turn it right, it'll come out this way. Okay, I think I got it. All right, I'm ready to put the cover back on. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. All right, there you go. It's uh, put together. Uh, just got to get a battery. Just got to get a battery and uh, put oil up on top, and we'll be done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the oil in. We'll get the battery, and we'll get it rocking. And put the cover... Just to be safe, let's just put the cover on here. 
There we go. All right. So there is a, okay, there is a little attachment here so you don't lose the, uh, the cover, which is nice. I overfilled it. Crap. Be careful. They looks like they give you more than what you need. I should probably hold it on this side. <laughs> that way I can see it. Don't make the same mistake I did and overfill it. Uh, so it looks like they give you plenty of oil. So I got to dump some out. Let's do this all over again. Try not to get oil on yourself. There you go. There's plenty of oil to fill. It's not like the chainsaw which I, that's what I was expecting, that uh, there's plenty of oil actually to fill the whole thing. So be careful when you fill it and try to watch the gauge. Oil, battery, um, I do have, I, I'm just going to use the 3 amp. And uh, yes, this is the shortest length I'm going to be using it. All right, I got it in. Uh, let's just test it. It's quite a distance for me. So you... You got to pull, you got to pull this thing and then s squeeze. It's kind of annoying actually, but pull, you got to pull this and squeeze. So you got to pull that, you got to pull this. All right. <laughs> Here comes the test. Uh, it's kind of a weird angle for me to put, to be in, but uh, I guess I'll... I'll do it. So, all right, here, here goes nothing. Excuse me. Such a weird angle. So the pole is so long. All right. All right, there you go. You saw it. Hopefully, you, you got to saw. It. You saw it. Uh, hopefully, you got to see it. Uh, there you go. I guess I gotta put it up really close and then let this all do its work. Yeah. Okay, it works. All right. Let's put the cover back on. All right, before I cut myself. Uh, there it is. It's probably about the size I'm gonna cut. This is just a small demo. All right, everyone, this is gonna conclude the <laughs> unboxing and a quick demo of the cordless pole saw, the chainsaw, 20 volt by Bawa. Bawa. All right, so if you like this kind of video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. I do also have a members a members subscription if you want early content sometimes i don't publish things out for like about a month so you want early content just join the membership and uh, you'll get early content and some other good stuff all right bye